Hello everybody and welcome to Shalmers Formula Students Unveiling Event. We are so excited to have you with us here tonight. So how are you feeling, Mohammed? I'm excited for today. Uh, it's been a very interesting year to say the least uh, with the pandemic, travel restrictions and social distancing, a new concept indeed. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, despite all that, I, I believe that we have done a good job mm -hmm. and I'm very proud of the team for to be able to achieve this today. How has that affected your work? So um, during the design phase, which is the initial stages of building a race car, uh, not much I would say. I mean, definitely a significant amount, but it hadn't like hindered our work progress to such a big extent. Maybe more of team uh, spirit? It definitely might have affected, uh, you know, a bit of a team spirit because you don't see the faces you work with yeah. daily. But uh, the design phase, it was mainly a lot of brainstorming that could be done remotely, uh, scheduled meetings done online, uh, CADing using a remote desktop and uh, simulations can be done remotely. I, I believe that because of the advancement in te technology and the softwares we have now, it was very convenient to yeah. say the least. Uh, despite you know the situation so i believe we did a good job during the design phase it was fun it was really nice to work with the different subgroups even though it was remote it was a new experience for us yeah so what were because we have the design phase during the fall and then the manufacturing during the spring yes so what were your responsibilities there um so so i would say first uh manufacturing i, I believe the restrictions we have due to the pandemic affected manufacturing more than Designing, Designing yeah. for sure, uh, because uh, we had to be there, we had to do test fits, maybe assembly mm -hmm. and all that. And we had a lot of stuff, you know, in our in our way to, you know, get a complete part or a complete assembly. Uh, but I believe we did pretty well again. So I am a project engineer in the mechanical powertrain subgroup and my responsibilities included the power electronics box, the enclosures for the accumulator and the other you know, electronic enclosures in the rear mm -hmm. and the overall rear packaging of the car. That's what I was involved in uh, in the design phase. And in the manufacturing phase, I was involved mainly with the uh, composites manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So it involved working with uh, carbon fiber and uh, um, what was it, aramid. Yeah, so that's, that's the two main things I worked with during uh, manufacturing mm -hmm. it was it was amazing it was a beautiful experience and uh, we do a lot of the stuff in house yes absolutely uh, so with the help from our very generous sponsors uh, who guide us and you know uh, give all the support we need it's been it's been awesome yeah. so uh, they have helped us make most of the stuff for manufacturing in house it's, it's a beautiful experience to be a part of you know building a race car in with the, with a team it's it's really nice it's fun yeah for sure yeah so for those of you who are new to uh, what Shalmash Formula Student does, uh, we, uh, well, first of all, Formula Student is uh, the largest engineering competition for students. Uh, it is a 10 month cycle uh, with 600 teams worldwide competing. Uh, so we design and we build the car, we test the car and then we go racing during the summers. So Shalmash Formula Student was founded in 2001 uh, and back in 2014 we went fully electric. So this is a course given here at Shalmash and we are supported by uh, over 50 companies. So we want again to say a big big thank you to our sponsors. And yeah, no need to drag this out further. I agree. Uh, yeah. Let's give the people what they've been waiting for. And I'm pretty much excited about this myself. Me too. It's, it's been a long time waiting to see this happen. So everybody, let's uh, say a warm hello to Madeline.
Wow. Unbelievable. I'm I mean, I mean, I'm I've so, I'm so happy to see it actually. Like <laughs> right? you, you see your like months of hard work come to life. Yes. It's 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 the most satisfying feeling ever. You want to cry basically. Okay. No, I'm not gonna do it on camera. But, uh, <laughs> probably after this. But uh, but that was that was really nice. I'm yeah. I'm really glad glad we pulled it off. I yes. would say. We're super proud of the team. So proud. And uh, speaking of the team. Let's hear how their experience has been this past year. Wow, this chair is too tall for me. Hi, Sam. Hello. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, thank you. What was the best part in the project? Getting to see the car coming to life. I mean, seeing things come to life. All the friends, definitely. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Um... When you really see the team coming together and working uh, to get things done. Working in a team and getting to know everyone. The things other people have done. When the, when the motor spun first time, I would say. <laughs> that was a big uh, milestone for us. What's the hardest part in the project overall? I would say the scope of it. It's a massive project, building a car out of nowhere and making it work. Uh, I think that is to make sure that uh, all parts of the project uh, actually merge together. Probably the start of the project for me. Um, a lot of information to take in uh, in a short period of time. Uh, yeah. I think that's the hardest. What specifically are you working? I'm working with the inverters. So this year we're doing a new inverter by ourselves. Um, so, yeah. Um, so what exactly does the inverter do? It uh, controls the current flowing through the motor. So since we have a battery which is DC uh, and we need to convert it to AC uh, because we're three phase motors. So. The, the inverter sits in between the battery and the motors, basically. Mm -hmm. So it was the controls motors. So it can spin the motors? Yeah, it sure can. And what are you most proud of regarding the inverter? Yeah, so I'm proud of uh, how small our inverter is. It's uh, quite compact and it just weights 720 grams. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it just weights. Uh, it, it talk, yeah, it's just eighty percent of uh, compared to the old, old inverter. Yeah. And what was the best part of the project? The best part is the things uh, seeing coming along together. Like when when I actually see the inverter, it just feels so good. Like okay, this is what I have done it, and uh, yeah, the, the progress we have made is the. Yeah. Uh, how many are you working on that project? Uh, we are two people working on the project and uh, we also have some uh, support from CFS alumni and uh, we're also working with a company called Aptree and uh, they are very good at uh, powertrain electronics so they have been a big support for us. Uh, one thing that surprised you with the car? Surprised me with the car? Probably I think the scale of actually what we can manufacture um, like the complexity of certain parts, carbon fiber tub or monocoque. I think just the complexity of things. And uh, what's the hardest part of manufacturing? I would say the long hours you have to put in. They say that Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is the car. Uh, well, first, I guess learning how to manufacture was a big step and also all the preparation that is involved in it. So it was quite a, a steep learning curve, but yeah, after a few fails, you start learning and from there it goes well. Definitely getting the accumulator ready and getting all the mechanical stuff to fit together. I would say it has been challenging because yeah, each time we seem close, there used to be some something new that would come up. Time management, I think. And things always take longer than you expect them to take. One lesson you will bring with you from your time in CFS? 
time management. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but you, that you can, um, even if you don't know that much from the start, you can learn a lot and still, I mean, actually achieve things. One lesson is maybe that uh, things always take uh, more time than you think. Uh, so it's important with the planning. Yeah, teamwork is, uh, teamwork is everything. I would say being in CFS really taught me what it means to be an engineer because uh, before that, I, I mean, I knew what an electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer does, but being just an engineer about solving problems and any kind of problem that once you're faced with it, you immediately start looking for a solution. So I would say that is something I really learned here. Uh, never give up and yeah, even if you don't think you can, if you try hard enough, you, you can achieve uh, what you want. One quote you bring with you from the project. Working hard or hardly working. <laughs> oh, that must be data-driven decisions. I guess one uh, nice quote is um, uh, to finish first, you must first finish. And one thing you wish you had more of? Of course, time. <laughs> time. Time. On the car? Whatever. Uh, we wish we had more time. Uh, tire grip. <laughs> that would be awesome. Maybe more patience. Yeah. Mm, knowledge. If the car can talk, what would you like to say to her? Uh, go get it. I hope you're happy with what we've done. <laughs> Let's race. <laughs>so nice hearing from everybody absolutely it was really nice to hear from our teammates yes. but uh, you have been asking a lot of questions so maybe you would like to answer one for a change sure so what i would like to know is what was your favorite experience in chalmers formula student that's a difficult one actually because i have many but um, i would say meeting all the sponsors uh, since i'm kind of the middleman between our team and them that's been a great experience for me and also the McLaren webinar. Yeah, that was an amazing experience for all students who are even the least bit interested in formula. Yeah. That was a very insightful, you know, show uh, presentation where we were able to see how similar our car was to Exactly. Yeah. It was it was really really beautiful. Yeah. So, what does the future hold for us now? Um, we have a virtual event uh, for FS Switzerland and then we are actually going to both Spain and Croatia with our beautiful Madeline. Yes, we are very excited and can't wait to see what she's got. Yes, and uh, we also want to say once more a big thank you to all of our sponsors. Yeah, and we should also thank our many managers, alumni yeah. and Bjorn and Stefan for their valuable support yes. without which uh, this wouldn't have been such a big success. No, definitely not. So yeah, we've come to an end. Thank you so much for joining us this evening and have a good night. Bye. Bye.